All right, today we have a Dell SonicWall TZ300. Uh, uh, I put in this little rack mount. I love these because it gives the ability to, now I can rack this in the actual um, network cabinet. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, reset this. Um, in some cases you might need to reset this because uh, you forgot your password, the configuration's messed up and you can't log into it via admin. Um, so you can use a thumbtack, which I what I have here, or you can use a paper clip, doesn't really matter, but there's this little hole right next to your power adapter. There's a little hole there and we're just gonna plug that in there. Push in, wait about 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds happens, remove it. You don't need to unplug anything, remove the power or anything. A lot of people are saying that you need to do that, but that's not the case because uh, now what's gonna happen is this is gonna reboot and you can see it, we're already there. Sometimes it takes a little bit, so just be patient. Um, but you actually see the whole uh, firewall reboot and then it goes into a um, recovery mode. Um, and once it's in recovery mode, uh, plug into LAN uh, 0x um, port. So you can see we should get a LAN active port now. And you're gonna wanna set your uh, IP address um, from a, uh, your, a dynamic, most likely, to a static IP on your laptop, which we're gonna do here in a minute. And you're gonna set it to 192.168.168.168 is what you're trying to get to. So you wanna make sure you set yourself with an IP address at you know, 192.168.168.162 or something other besides 168. Oh. Now that you're on your computer, go to Control Panel, Network and Internet Connection Settings, and we're going to right click on your Ethernet or local LAN, go to Properties, go to TCPI4, and we're going to set, this is just an example, but I'm doing 192.168.168.165, set the subnet mask, hit OK, do not set, you don't need to set a default gateway or DNS. Now open up your web browser and go to 192.168.168.168 and it should load right away. So here is where you can see your current firmware, current firmware with factory defaults. So you're going to want to go to the boot and once you hit boot for the current firmware and factory defaults, it's going to completely reset the firewall to the defaults. So let's go ahead and hit boot. You can see the TZ300 uh, there is rebooting. Um, so just give it a couple minutes and now your, your firewall is completely reset. So now you can go and begin the configuration. Once it boots back up, it, it will give you a dynamic IP. So you do want to change that static IP, which you, which you just set. So you're going to want to turn that off. So you go to properties, go to IPv4 again. And set to uh, dynamic. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And you can see our firewall has already been rebooted. And there is no more orange blinking light, which means it's not in recovery mode. So we'll come back over here. Hit status. And you can see now it's asking us do you trust this network? Yes. Go to details, it should give us an IP address by now. Yep, 192.168.168.65. And if we go to the same IP address again, 168.168.168. And now we can begin the wizard on setting up the firewall again. So there you have it, you guys, it's that easy. Just hold down that reset button for 10 seconds, go into recovery mode, hit the uh, boot to the factory defaults, Wait for the fire to reboot. Make sure you ch turn off your static IP on your laptop. And then, bam, you can get right into it and start the configuration.